Hi, it's Starno with Wave Home Recipes, and I'm going to be cooking up a burger today in the Breville Combi Wave 3 in 1. It's a combination microwave, air fryer, convection oven as well. And basically, going to be cooking up a frozen patty in there to see how it knocks it out to make a burger so that you can see anytime you want a burger out of the Breville Combi Wave, we'll see how easy it is and we'll see how that turns out right now. Okay, so what we have here is an old frozen sirloin beef burger patty from Costco that has you know been sitting in the freezer ice cold and I've got some extra virgin olive oil I've also got some burger seasoning that I like this is twisted Q bent burger seasoning nothing in this video is like any type of paid ad or any sort of stuff like that nobody paid me anything for any doing any of this I just show you what I like so I'm going to put the extra virgin olive oil on the burger patty so we're going to pour that out on this side here and now that I've got some on there I'm going to just kind of brush it in a little bit now that we got that brushed in on that side a little bit I'm going to take some of my burger seasoning and going to just sprinkle that over top of here and I just keep my uh, seasoning and stuff you know pretty simple as far as what I put on my burgers and now I'm going to try and flip this burger patty over all right got that flip get it nice and centered I'm going to get some oil and some seasoning on the opposite side as well Ooh, man poured out a bit much there but that sometimes happens and we got some plenty tons of oil on the opposite side all right now that we got that I'm gonna put some seasoning on the opposite side as well Let's get it nice and covered with some seasonings on this side all right all right if the Bravo combi wave can revive this frozen frozen burger patty it should taste pretty good we're gonna put that into the uh, Breville Combi Wave. I'm using the crisper pan that comes with the Breville Combi Wave. So put that in there and close that door with that soft close action. All right, I've got you in close now so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to hit the From Frozen button. And from, from Frozen, I'm going to just go down to Meat. And I press the button here to go into meat it tells me to use the pan it asks me to wait the burger patty is a little under six ounces just barely under six ounces the lowest you can go is eight ounces so we're going to go with that and see what happens here because a lot of uh meat that i've cooked from frozen usually you know it comes out a little underdone anyway so i'm thinking that you know cooking this at eight ounces you know maybe it'll get it just right since this patty is just under six ounces in size so I just press this button here and that starts our cook. It's a two-phase process. There's a 10-minute defrost. It's showing stage one of the defrost stage. Once it's done defrosting, it's going to kick over into the next phase where it actually cooks the meat. But this defrost phase uses a low power setting on the microwave to try and defrost the patty. When it gets to the cook, it's going to use some other features in addition to cook the burger. Basically, it uses a combination of its capabilities at the same time to cook. So, I'll bring you back. Alright, so there are just some seconds left in the defrost phase. The burger is looking pretty well defrosted. And over here, it's going to kick over now into the next stage. And there it goes, it kicks over into the cooking stage. It's giving itself 18 minutes, and it's mentioning that it's using the oven and the grill. It is not using the microwave for the cook phase. It's using just the oven and the grill for 18 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll bring you back in a bit. We'll have to flip this about halfway through. So I'll bring you back uh, probably about nine minutes. Alright, so 
Only about four minutes passed and it made the chime, the flip. So I thought it would do it after nine, but it did it after just four minutes into it. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to flip it now since it's giving me the chime, the flip. But you see things are pretty partially done. Whoa. I'm pretty wet from all that oil and such. All right. Closing up and starting. I'll bring you back. All right, so we've got less than a minute left in this cook. I think this patty's gonna be good and done. I've got myself some homemade wheat bread that I made in my Zoshirushi bread machine. If you haven't seen the review of that, that's in another video on this channel. But that thing makes some great bread. And so I'm just going to put some uh, mayo on my bread. So just cover the bottom of it with some mayo. I've also got myself some ketchup and mustard that I'll be putting on the burger. And I also have myself a slice of Haverty cheese that I will also put on the patty when uh, I get in here in a second. First thing I'm gonna do is check the temperature just to ensure that it's fully done, but I believe that it is. So it's done, opening up. And let's get in here with the thermopin. Yeah, it's like 159, 160. It's in the low 160s, so it's done. And now I'm just going to get my cheese on my patty. And that'll just probably start melting in as is. So I'm going to get it out of here and get my patty on my bun. Well, my bread, not my bun my homemade bread all right we'll just leave the pan there for now that pan is very non-stick very very easy cleaning I'm going to get uh, some of my ketchup and mustard on my patty now so we'll throw some ketchup on and we'll get some mustard on there as well Get some mustard on. Seems like I might need to refill my mustard. Maybe I'm getting a little low on mustard. All right. Well, we'll go with that. We'll get our lid on that burger. And so, you know, a nice quick homemade burger. Well, not too quick. I mean, it took about 28 minutes considering all the process. But we'll see how this tastes in the taste test. All right, here's our burger. I did lightly toast my wheat bread before I built my uh, sandwich. So it is lightly toasted wheat bread, but like I said, this homemade bread from the Zoshirushi is great. We'll see if this burger's great now. Okay, so the burger patty itself, you know, it came out pretty much like a, you know, bur a burger patty from Frozen would come out. It tastes decent. It uh, came out pretty well. And uh, so, you know, it does take, in the Breville combo way, it takes that time to defrost, to properly defrost before it does its full cook. And so it's about 28 minutes total. You know, here on this channel, I've done plenty of cooks at air fryers from Frozen with burger patties that went faster. But in this case, the Breville Combi Way shows that, you know, it can do the cook of a burger patty from Frozen and it basically can do the defrost. It's a microwave convection oven, a air fryer. It can do it as well, although it needs its time because of how it does the process. It is nice that the cooker is able to use a combination of features in a single cook. It can use its microwave to defrost, it can use its combination of grill and oven to cook the burger. It's also, depending on the weight of your food and the type of food, at times it can do all three, what well, seems like all three together. Sometimes I've seen it do like microwave and grill, or you know, it could do different combinations of things based on the food that you're cooking. It's able to combo it up 
and get your food cooked up. So, the Bro Economy Wave, if you just want one thing to do everything, it can do it. Although, in some cases, it's going to take more time. So, basically, that's how it is. And you'll be able to find a written form of this recipe at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. On Twitter and Instagram at Wave Oven Recipes. In the video description are links to basically referral links to cookers, other cookers that you can get on referrals. You pay the, pay the same price, but you help this channel. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.